Prognosis of Bell's palsy is usually good. 70 to 75 percent of the patients will become asymptomatic within three to six months after their presentation. What's the role of medications in treatment of Bell's palsy? Uh, research has shown that prescribing prednisone at a dose of 60 to 80 milligrams three times a day for one week will improve the outcomes of uh, Bell's palsy to about 80 to 85 percent improvement or recovery within three to eight weeks. Um, so uh, prescribing prednisone um, is recommended. Uh, what's the role of antiviral medications in Bell's palsy? It's still a relatively controversial topic, but uh, it's reasonable to uh, consider prescribing um, antiviral medications for cases that present with severe symptoms of Bell's palsy or facial uh, nerve palsy. And the choice of antiviral medication in this case is valacyclovir at a dose of 1,000 milligrams three times a day for one week. Alternative to that, is acyclovir at a dose of 40, uh, 400 milligrams five times a day for 10 days. Uh, valacyclovir is preferred because uh, it's more convenient and also uh, it has a higher bioavailability compared to acyclovir. And you want to make sure your, uh, you adjust the dose based on your patient's uh, kidney function. Um, another aspect of treatment of Bell's palsy is um, eye care. So as you remember, these patients present with eye dryness for two reasons. One, disruption of the parasympathetic pathway or fibers that will go to the lacrimal glands, so less tear formation or less lac uh, lacrimation, and uh, also because they're not able to close their eyes as uh, uh, effectively as the good side. So the eyes can remain open and that can also contribute to eye dryness. Uh, so, uh, providing your patients with eye drops as needed and uh, sometimes providing them with a eye dressing um, or an eye patch is very reasonable. Um, it's also very important to make sure patients have appropriate follow-up appointments with their uh, uh, primary care doctor or their neurologist. And uh, the reason to do that is to make sure uh, your patient's symptoms are resolving or improving. Um, and if not, uh, or if the symptoms become worse, um, then you need to uh, provide your patients with appropriate uh, follow-up workup or treatments. Um, another complication, a chronic complication of Bell's palsy or facial nerve palsy uh, is synkinesis. And uh, as you remember, that's uh, typically a malfunction of the regenerated uh, fibers um, of the facial nerve. And, uh, and uh, sometimes also patients with Bell's palsy uh, present with chronic contractures on their face. And uh, a treatment for that is uh, typically uh, botulinum uh, toxin injection as needed if the symptoms are severe. Uh, but again, that's a chronic complication. That's part of the reason why a patient needs to have uh, appropriate follow-up appointments. Another long-term uh, concern in Bell's palsy or facial nerve palsy uh, is uh, insufficient eye closure or incomplete eye closure and uh, sometimes uh, patients can benefit from ophthalmology evaluation. There are treatments, uh, sometimes surgical treatments, that could be offered to these patients, including insertion um, of a platinum or a gold weight into the upper eyelid. That kind of helps with closure of the eye. 